This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapel on this Wednesday, the, uh, the 4th of October. We're looking at the Dow up 31 points. Nice to be able to say up 31 points. Oh, 19. Uh, at 33,023. This is a very important moment. I'll, just, I'll, I'll do this during my show. In the meantime, S&P, because I think that we're getting closer and closer to some really important, about another four or 500 points. If we get that to the downside, that's where the key support is going to be. We're looking at the S&P up 8 at 42.36. Uh, uh, lousy day yesterday under the 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, the QQQ and the X100 trading vehicle, we're looking at one up 150 at 356.50. Um, also, this H pattern. Uh, this is going to be very important because 151 is really key support, and it's right now at 156. That's good. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Ooh, ugly. Down one at 170.14. These small caps, that just terrible. Uh, gold. Uh, gold should be trying to rally today. It's not. It's down seven at uh, 1834. It just looks, oh, it's very close to some kind of support based on measurements. But I don't see any left side key, um, a, a trough on the left side that should be a hold at this particular point. Okay, we're going to go to crude oil. Crude oil is trading uh, down sharply. It's, remember I said... I've got an alternate count. I believe that's really an E that says in C. And if that's the case, we can go down to the 76s or 75s that were appeared a couple of weeks. I don't know yet because the USO did exactly what you would look for. And I went to that peak D and now it's pulled back. So we've got crude oil pulling back. You've got the TLT. <clears throat> Uh, trying to rally a little bit. It's up 72 cents at 85.78. And then you've got the dollar. And the dollar was pulling back earlier. It's still down 39 ticks at 106.65. A lot to see because with yesterday's very sharp pullback, I'm anticipating that there is some kind of a re just a rebound. But I don't think we've got the exact low, and I'll talk about that when we get back, because that VIX index spiraled up to leg C to the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, and it looks to me like it's got a little more energy to go for another couple of days. We'll, we'll be back, and we'll talk about it in my Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. <laughs> 